are uh, all your categories, right? Right. And I'm going to show you a couple things here. So for me, there are two things that I use to, well, actually, there's several things that I use to make things faster for myself. And one of them is under uh, scripting. Um, hold on. Oh, sorry. Let me go back. It's not scripting. Editor extensions, visual scripting, right? Uh, there are a couple of uh, leaders in this category that people really like. I think Playmaker by far is uh, the most um, popular, uh, but the one that I like to use is, uh, you'll see there's lots of competition out here now, um, is called Uscript. And that looks like this. So it's another visual scripting tool. Right? I'll show you both of these in the editor in a second. Oh my God, look at that spaghetti. Anyway. Uh, it's a hundred bucks, but it was I pay, I got it when it was fifty bucks in beta, so people t have a tendency to do that. Um, but uh, for me, it's worth it because it makes things so much faster as far as like being able to prototype stuff as opposed to going to like uh, writing C sharp text, right? And so same, it's node based. It's very node based, right? Uh, and then Playmaker is kind of the same thing, but this is state-based, right? So state nodes, basically, uh, you can uh, create like a, a, a state machine, right? So you see this door FSM in this picture. So yeah. F FSM stands for finite state machine, right? And so finite it's, state machine... It's, it's how one thing is in a state and then something happens and it's in another state. Correct. And I think... Um, the F, the finite part, is really just academia for it doesn't go forever, right? <laughs> right? It may loop, but, you know, it's finite in its bounds. You could uh, create an infinite loop if you wanted to, but technically it's one loop. Yes, so, uh, but it's a state machine, right? And so a state machine basically is, uh, well, 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 I'll show you some things. So Playmaker is also paid, um, and it's $45. Okay. Uh, Playmaker has the most... Uh, additions onto it, so people can make additions to say like the, the, they make these state machines, and they'll they can put them in the store, or like make modules for it, and they sell their own modules. You know, it, it's not the Hutong Game Company that's doing it. It's like somebody that said like, oh, here's my door modules, boom, and they put them up. Right, right. Or this is my add, add on to this. So anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna make this smaller. Let's go back to Unity. Now, there's a couple of ways that you need to understand using the Unity Asset Store um, piece in here, right? So let's say I bought that on the web. It would go to here. Uh, here, I'll pretend to buy this uh, Mixamo Fuse. Okay, we'll go here. You buy it for 100 bucks, and then, you know, you get this thing. You check out, right? And then... Continue shopping. Um, oh, I should kill my shopping cart. I'll kill that later. Anyway, once you've bought something in a Unity Asset Store, uh, it does like uh, I showed you earlier where it did the import assets, right? And you see that I got this party pack mm -hmm. that I downloaded earlier. It does that whole thing, but what if I say, like, uh, go here and I'm like, oh, uh, I don't need this anymore. And I just hit, uh, you know, delete. Like, oh, shit. I've deleted it. Where the fuck did it go? <laughs> right? What am I going to do? Well, come back here. Go to your asset store. It'll also give you a warning. Like, when you delete something, it's permanently gone. And what they mean is you can't undo... You can't hit Alt-Z and undo it. But the, they're not saying, you can't undo this. You're forever going to lose this asset to the ether. Right? That's good, because I think I thought I'd lost it a bunch of times. I... I did too. I, it took me a little while to go like, oh my god, I just lost all of this work because I just deleted it and all this other stuff. And like, But what they mean is that you can't hit like, you know, control Z or command Z and undo the delete. Right? So now we have to go back to uh, uh, this screen. And you see this, it looks like an inbox with like an arrow pointing down at the top yeah. here. So it's like back, forward, home, inbox, shopping cart. Um, Part, go to this 
and this shows you everything that you've bought in the asset store. Right? Uh, you can see that I've got a lot of stuff. But some yeah. of it, a lot of it's free, some of it's not free. But you can group it by cat title or by category so that you can go through your own stuff and sort of, uh, you know, be able to filter through exactly what you want. Right? Uh, but I usually just go by title because I know exactly what I want and where it's going to be. Uh, what was that? That was the uh, two. Well, actually, it was a party pack. Right? Party pack, two million user party pack. I, I don't need to download it again. It has this button here. Um, you can hit that button if you think that you've actually lost some assets. Right? It doesn't have to have been deleted from like your folder or something. No, nah, no, nah, don't even worry about it. But if this button says update, uh, that means that there's a newer version available. And you want the newer version? Well, it depends. We, we, we should, you know, it, depending on what, you, what it is, you may or may not want the newer version right away. Right? I'll take note of that. We might talk about that next time. Yeah. So I'm going to import this and keep going. So there's all the assets that I'm going to import. And um, an interesting thing about this screen is you can choose to not import certain things. Right? Like, let's say I just want the party hat. I'm going to click none. Let's get uh, a prefab in here. I don't see any prefabs. It's a fucking hat. Party hat. Green material. Let's just grab everything that says party hat. Party hat. Let's get these. Oh, screw it. Let's go all. I'll import it all. I was just. You you can choose to bring stuff in or not bring stuff in. All right. So it's gonna take a second. Okay. Okay. So uh, yeah, there's like a whole 15 minutes to talk about why you should or shouldn't download or update things, depending on on what's going on. I tend. I we'll, we'll definitely hit that next week. We'll kind of like keep track of those things that we yes. spend you, more time on. You can for sure screw yourself over. So I want to kind of go over it first before you get too deep into it. Right. Um, we're going to be very, very um, directed about the things that we bring into this scene, uh, even though I've just brought in this party pack scene that we do absolutely don't need. Right. <laughs> uh, so anyway. Well, that's an example. I, I see. Yeah, definitely. I think yeah. it's a good idea. But that's we should... We're, we're going to be very, very careful. So let's, I'm going to go click. So you see, um, I brought in this party pack and it's got all these subfolders, right? Let's go to their scenes and see their party pack screen. Yeah, I'm not going to save this current scene because I didn't do anything. Uh, let's hit the play button up here. Right. Oh, okay. It's got music. All right. Turn these gizmos off. Woo! It's Unity Party, two million users. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. Um, and then there's a, there's a particles pack example. So I think this is going to be poppers. Nice. Yeah. Actually, these are decent examples because I think these particle systems are there's a couple of interesting. Oh, that fourth one's not firing. One sec. I'm not getting any, any errors. Uh, we'll, we can debug that later if we need to, but uh, I'll, 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 I'll show you that later. Uh, okay, so I'm, I'm going to go back to, I'm going to make a new scene. Um, and then I'm going to save this scene. Okay, so I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a good habit right now. You start a new scene, right? It's not automatically saved. Right, it's just yeah, called yeah. new scene, right? I autom I the first thing I do is go. I save the scene, right, and then give yeah. it a name. Yeah. Right, so that I don't assume that it's been saved later yeah. on after like an hour and a half of work. <laughs> right, walk away and then like the power goes out and then you pull your hair out and punch yourself in the dick. So here's a question for you: If you save the scene like you just did, yep. does, is there an option to have it automatically save every two minutes or something? Um, yes, but there are different things that automatically save by action. So every time you hit 
I think every time you hit play, it saves your scene. Okay. I think that every time you compile scripts, it saves. But I have a tendency to uh, hit Command S just reflexively, all just all the yeah. time. I hit save all the time. And I don't bother going up here. Like, you won't see me do it on screen. Like, I won't hit save scene here necessarily. You'll just see yeah. me hit. You'll just hear it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, okay. Now, uh, let's bring in... I'm going to delete this because we don't really need extra right now. And we're going to make... Uh, we're, let's make our three doors world. Okay? Great. Um, assets. Sorry. Game object. Create 3D object. Right? Um, oh, when you're in the theater, so create a 3D object and you're creating a plane. Yep. And there's our ground. Right? Let's look at it from uh, above. On the side, it's infinitely thin. Right. Sorry, can I back you up a second? You sure can. Okay, so um, it's at the top, the top menu, or the top menu bar. I'm going to put an asset to create. So it's game object, sorry. Game object, 3D object, create a plane. Other. It's not giving me create three D object. Uh, under game object. Yeah, under game object, I only have four options. I have create empty, create empty child, create other, and then it opens up to a bunch of different things, and then move to view. Uh, that's interesting. Hold on, let me delete this plane. What about over here under the hierarchy tab? Do you have the hierarchy tab? I do have the hierarchy tab. Okay, there's a create button there. Got it. 3D object? 3D object is not an option. It's like it's 3D text, but I've got like cube, sphere, capsule, so like, oh, plane. It just doesn't say 3D object. Okay, okay. I think you're on an older version of Unity. Got it. Um, but it's a plane that we're creating. Yes, create a plane. Okay, got that. Okay, I will, um, hold on. Did you switch to a 2D view or something? Like that? Uh, I did, I'll show you that right here in a second. So, uh, you see the, uh, up here in my scene view? Yeah. Is the different axes, right? Yeah. X axis, Y axis, Z axis. I always forget the colors, but, and then in the middle, there's a cube. Right? And that that's the one that turns you from like orthographic or or ISO uh, basically flat projection or perspective, right? It's basically uh, isometric or perspective, but uh, you it changes your camera mode from like okay, a so how do you how are you using that eyeball to move the camera around? Right. Which, which is the next thing. So you there there are a couple of hot keys you do need to get into. Actually there's um, thought there was a button to do it like a mouse button but there's not okay so for me it's alt right or option you're on a mac right uh, yeah so apple or command yeah no no option so it's option, option or alt right option right and you you hold that down and it'll give you this eyeball very cool got it right and then that will orbit whatever uh I think what's in the center of the screen. Okay, so um, let's keep moving forward. Let, shall we make three doors real quick? Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to make a 3D object, cube. Okay. Uh, here's an interesting, here's another thing. You're making a cube now? Okay. Yeah. So here's a, another thing for you. I'm going to, uh, um, yeah, let's stick with this. Okay, so uh, I used the middle mouse button, right? By the way, to give me this hand to pan around. Okay. okay. I don't even have the middle mouse button. Oh, there's another way to do it. Uh, come on. I guess this just click to the hand guy, right? Yeah. So Alt Option will give you the hand if you hold those both together. But yeah, you can just click to the hand up here, move your scene around, right? Uh, here's another thing for you, uh, Brian. Is I now have the cube selected over here, right? If you double... So for Mac, just, sorry, that's command option on the Mac to do the hand. Sorry about that. Correct. Yep. Uh, okay. If you double-click your object in the hierarchy, 
it'll it'll zoom to keep it 